with the guys. Mike T, it was labeled as minor surgery. There's no minor surgery in anything. You have a concern. <laughs> Why? Because he is young and he has been hurt four separate times in a very short amount of time, Kevin. We go back a year and a half. Obviously, the major foot injury, which is catastrophic, that's going to happen. But then if we remember, he hurt his shoulder in training camp, wound up not throwing a lot before they play against Tampa Bay. Then he hurt his calf during the season in the Patriot game. And now we have this. This was supposed to be this offseason of no drama, no injuries, build on the foundation with Kellen Moore and Coach McCarthy. So if I'm Dallas and I see all these injuries, four different injuries since 2019, Kevin, I am definitely concerned because this is my franchise quarterback. Marcus, your reaction to what Mike T just said as well as this surgery? Yeah, I understand it. I understand Mike T's concern, but I'm not. I, 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 the non-throwing shoulder for me is, is the key. Now, I know we dealt with Baker Mayfield having that issue last year with the Cleveland Browns, but I don't think Baker Mayfield and Dak Prescott are in the same realm as quarterback. And I do believe that Dak Prescott will have an offseason full and available to be able to come back and play at a high level. And let me say this, too. We've, 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 to Mike T's point, we focused all the attention on Mike McCarthy. We talked about how good the defense was. We talked about all the other players. Amari Cooper contract situation is up, up in the air. Trying to figure out what we're doing with the defensive players in Dallas. This is the Dak Prescott pressure year. I don't give a damn about a minor so shoulder surgery. I don't care about anything else that's transpiring other than Dak Prescott playing at an elite level at the quarterback spot and leading his team to win some playoff games. I know that the offensive line has to be addressed. We are, Every team got things to address. But we've talked about Dak Prescott. We've talked about how good he is and the things that he can do on the football field. It is put up or shut up time. I don't care about a minor surgery on his non-throwing shoulder. Dak Prescott got to play as a top eight, top five quarterback this year if he is going to prove that that contract that Dallas gave him was the right decision to make. You cannot go out in the first round again, bro. Nobody's listening to that excuse, and everybody focus will be on Dak Prescott not Mike McCarthy play calling, not anything else. This is his season. This is about how far he can take the Cowboys. To your point, he's got to win a playoff game. I mean, this franchise has to win a playoff has game to. and show some advancement, right, especially how much you're paying the quarterback and what you're paying this, uh, the offense with all the weapons here. Jeff, when you look at the track record here with Dak coming off surgery, what concerns you? Uh, the word of the Cowboys at this point when it comes to health updates on Dak Prescott, that's the thing that makes me the most nervous. And hopefully it's nothing. But look, on July 27th of last year, this is what they said. It's nothing serious. He'd be out a few days. He didn't resume team drills until a month later on August 25th. I hope it's nothing serious. I'm just saying. I hope it's nothing like when they said it wasn't serious last time because it turned out to be great point. pretty considerable when you consider the amount of time that he missed in training camp. And, and by the way, we have plenty of time over the next five months to, to dissect this and see how this plays out. But like you said, the track record and what we've seen from the Cowboys and what they've said and how they try to calm everybody down and then how long it <laughs> takes for Dak to come back and look healthy. We'll see how this plays out. Coming. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.